So moving on to the second example then, we have to simplify the expression 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Now there are two ways we can write this. We can either write the square root of 9 cubed, or we can write this as the square root of 9 in brackets, and then cube that value. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one you pick in terms of the order of operations. I'm going to pick this one here, uh, because the square root of 9 is a pretty simple calculation to do. This gives us 3, and then we're just cubing 3. Otherwise, we'd have to do 9 cubed, uh, which is 81 times 9, which is much more complicated. So we've got 3 cubed here, and 3 cubed is equal to 27. So our final value here is just 27. So moving on to the final example, now we have multiplication and powers here. So we have to write 2 to the 15 times 8 to the minus 4 as a power of 2 and evaluate the expression. So let's just rewrite it here. 2 to the 15 times 8 to the minus 4. And we want to write this as a power of 2. Uh, so it looks complicated at first, but one thing you should know is that 2 cubed is equal to 8. So if we substitute this into our expression then, then we get 2 to the 15 times 2 cubed. I'm going to write this in brackets to the power of minus 4. Now, if we use our uh, rules of indices or powers and roots rules, so if you've not seen the powers and roots video, then I recommend you watch that. Uh, but this is an example of the multiplication law. So this expression is equal to 2 uh, to the 15 times 2 to the 3 times minus 4. So we multiply the powers in this case, uh, which gives us 2 to the 15 times 2 to the power of minus 12. Now I'm going to do my workings down here now where there's a bit more room. So 2 to the 15 times 2 to the minus 12. I'm going to need another rule here. So if we have a negative power, we can rewrite the expression as 1 over uh, 2 to the positive 12. And now we can write this fraction as 2 to the 15 over 2 to the 12. So all I've done there is just uh, simplified the expression a bit. Now we can use the division rule. So this is equal to 2 to the 15 divided by 2 to the 12. So this becomes 2 to the 15 minus 12, which is 2 cubed. And as we said before, 2 cubed is 8. So our expression is equal to 8. If you're feeling ready to get some practice in, uh, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked. So you get feedback straight away, allowing you to work out where you're going wrong and where you can improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.